Hello class, we are now in topic number 4 and we will continue to discuss about the preparing the cutlery. I do believe that you are already familiar with this cutlery, this um, term. And we will discuss more on, on this topic. So the term cutlery refers to any handheld tool used for eating or serving food. Also called silverware or flatware cutlery items include spoons, knives, forks, and tongs. So the following are the common types of cutlery. Again, the synonyms or the other term used for the cutlery is the silverware or flatware. Okay, so there are establishments that are using flatware. There are other establishments that are using silverware instead of cutlery. So if you will hear the word cutlery, silverware, or flatware, uh, it is the same. So I will show to you first about the examples of the common um, types of cutlery or common types of spoons. So we have here six types um, common cutlery spoons. We have serving spoon, dinner spoon, dessert spoon, parfait spoon, soup spoon, and teaspoon. So for example, the um, serving type is a family type. So we can get the rice from the different platter. So we are going to use serving spoon in order to get the um, rice. And we will transfer it to our dinner plate or in our own plate. And then if we will eat the food, we will going to use the dinner spoon. And then if there is a dessert, we are going to use the dessert spoon. And we also have parfait. Uh, it is not common. So please listen carefully what this um, parfait is um, going to use. So the parfait, for example, we have the halo-halo or any dessert that has a, uh, for example, uh, the food is put in the tumbler or in a bowl or in a long glass. Okay, for example, halo-halo. So you just picture in your, put pictures in your mind, for example, in uh, Mang Inasal or um, any food uh, or any restaurants, you offer, for example, halo-halo. So that is uh, common in our country. So we are going to use the parfait. This is a long spoon, okay? Because, for example, uh, usually the halo-halo is have a, a big or long container, okay? So, they are going to use the parfait, this long spoon, in order to, for example, you need to mix the food or you will get something on the ingredients coming from that kind of food, for example, halo-halo. So, we're going to use the parfait. So, this is called parfait. And we also have soup spoon. So, if you're going to eat soup, we're going to use the soup spoon. And we also have teaspoon, used for the teaspoon or coffee. And then we also have different types of forks or cutlery. So we have serving fork, dinner fork, salad fork, dessert fork, fish fork, seafood fork, and fruit fork. So the serving fork is the partner of serving spoon. Dinner fork is the partner of dinner spoon. And then salad fork is the partner of salad spoon. Okay. And then we also have dessert and fish so you're going to eat the fish using the fish fork if you're going to eat the seafood um, we are going to use um, seafood fork okay and then you're going to eat the fruit we're going to use the fruit um, fork okay for example watermelon or mango so we're going to use this one and then we also have knives Okay, again, for the recap, cutlery is commonly have a three types. We have spoon, fork, and knives. And now let's proceed for the knives. So the butter spreader is considered as a knife. So we're going to use the butter spreader if we will spread the butter um, in the bread. Okay, so we were going to use the butter spreader. And we also have somewhat the same like the butter spreader, a big type. This is a fish knife. Okay, so this is not a spreader. This is a fish knife. If we have the food, we have a fish food, we're going to use the fish knife. And also, if we have a stick 
food we are going to use the stick knife in order to cut the food and then we also have salad knife we are going to eat the salad we are going to use this one and dinner uh, knife we are going to use this as we take our uh, meal so we can observe that there are different kinds of cutlery different kinds of knives different kind of fork different kind of spoon so as a hospitality management students or if you are going to work in the hospitality and tourism industry it is important that we have a knowledge regarding these different types of cutlery especially if we're going to eat in a fine dining we must know how to use or when to use or what particular cutlery that we are going to use when we eat these particular types of food okay for example in fine dining we have appetizer soup salad main course dessert so what particular items or uh, flatwares or cutlery that we are going to use so we need to be knowledgeable on this part so we will discuss more on on this um, topic in the uh, later lecture or discussion now let's proceed to the tips for handling cutlery there are those and don'ts in handling cutlery so we need to be reminded on this important um, topic so the cutlery items deliver the food from the plates to the guests it is important that they are keep sanitized and polished okay this is the common duty of the waiter to sanitize and polish the cutlery <laughs> so it is common for example if we were going to eat in the carinderia he sanitize the spoon okay this is put in the uh, for example in the uh, rice cooker okay with a boiling water they sanitize but they fail to polish the cutlery or silverware but if you are going to work in the hospitality and tourism industry, the hotel or resorts, they are going to polish all the sanitized utensils. Okay, so again, that is the common duty of a waiter. For example, before the service starts or after the service, this is the common duty of the waiter to polish all the um, utensils cleaned by the stewards. And then... It is important that we will sort the cutlery. I do believe that you are familiar with, uh, with this term. This is one of the five S of good housekeeping. We need to sort the items depending on the types. Okay, for example, this is for spoon, this is for fork, this is for knife. So we need to keep that. And not just that, if for example, knives, we need to keep all the stick knife in this place, all the uh, dessert knife or any knife. Okay butter spreader or fish knife we need to sort it so that we can easily find if we are going to you know locate these um, specific items and we need to put it in the proper place in the utensil organizer for example if you are you know out of duty it is easy for the other employees to find the cutlery because you already put it in the proper place and the next thing, it is important that you need to hold the cutlery items by the handles, okay? You need to hold the cutlery items by the handles. So, which part here is the handles? Which part? So, this is the handle part of the cutlery, okay? All this part within this line. This is the handle. So we need to avoid touching in this part, okay? Because this part will, um, is very, you know, we need to keep it. Uh, we, are, we should not touch it by our bare hands so that you can avoid the contamination. Because they have the direct contact with the food and also to the mouth of the guest. So we should avoid holding or touching on this part. Instead, we are just, uh, we need to touch or hold the items only on this part okay the handle part of the cutlery and then use lint free cloth to wipe the service and of the cutlery items we need to use the lint free cloth we need to avoid cloth for example 
cotton a cotton cloth okay because as you can observe when you wipe the for example even in the glassware or plates or utensils if you are going to use the cotton there is a certain part of the cotton that will remain on the cutlery or um, glassware or plates okay so it can affects maybe it can contaminate also the food and it is not good to see that there is something um, trends or cloth on the part of the cloth on the utensils or any tableware so we need to avoid using a cotton cloth instead we're just uh, we need to use the lint free okay and then also we need to place polished cutlery on a under plate again it depends on the establishment the establishment that allows the employees or the waiter to put the cutlery directly on the table okay so for this case um again it depends on the policy of the establishment some establishment don't allow the cutlery to be touched or to be directly put on the table instead all the cutlery must be put under the plate okay not under the plate but we have plate they call it under plate and they will put the uh, cutlery on it okay to avoid contamination or possible um, dirt and then do not touch the part of the cutlery that goes into the mouth of the guest so we already discussed that one we need to avoid on this part okay you should avoid holding on this part and then lastly, we need to use a line plate when serving additional cutlery. So we should not uh, uh, we should avoid holding the cutlery directly and give it to the guests. For example, there are guests who are asking for additional cutlery instead of holding it. Even if we will if even if we will use a a paper towel, uh, it is not as advisable for that. So we are going to use the line plate. Okay, so we need to put the cutlery on the line plate as we give it to the guests who requested the particular cutlery. So it is very important. I hope that you um, remember this one. It is important as you work in the hospitality and tourism industry, especially on the restaurants. Thank you for listening. And next discussion, we will talk about the preparing the crockery. So for this discussion, we only talk about the preparing the cutlery. Next time, we will talk about the crockery. So thank you for listening and don't forget to answer the quiz. Bye-bye.